Thank you. Thank you, Professor Kitayama. <coughs> Copper is one of the promising elements uh, which have the ability to activate uh, nitric oxide for the reduction with ammonia or hydrocarbon and also for the decomposition into nitrogen and hydrogen. Seyama and co-workers have examined uh, var various transition metal cation exchange YG right, for the reduction of nitric oxide with ammonia in the absence of oxygen and found that copper YG right is the most active catalyst. They also examined the effects of coexisting gases. The presence of oxygen enhanced the activity while water and sulfur dioxide show the positive effect. Branding and co-workers and Choi and co-workers have reported that copper to plus exchange more night is active for the selective catalytic reduction of nitric oxide with ammonia in the presence of oxygen. ZSM5 is a unique zeolite, that is, copper 2 plus cations can be introduced by an ion exchange method with the exchange level exceeding 100% up to 200%. Yamato and co-workers have reported copper 2 plus exchange ZSM5 zeolites have the highest activity for the catalytic decomposition of nitric oxide into nitrogen and oxygen. The formation of nitrogen took place at the Cu2 plus exchange level of 40% or more, and the yield of nitrogen increased with copper 2 plus exchange level even when the exchange level exceeded 100%. The same catalyst, that is copper GSM5, has been reported to be active for the reduction of nitric oxide using hydrocarbons or oxygenate compounds as reductants by many researchers. In this study, we carried out the selective catalytic reduction of nitric oxide with ammonia on copper to plus exchange Theorite having various structure, various silicon to aluminum ratio, and various Cu2 plus exchange level. Our main purpose is to clarify the structure of uh, catalytically active copper species. The catalyst used were uh, Kappa 2 plus <coughs> exchange GSM5, Kappa 2 plus exchange Morganite and YGY. In the case of Kappa GSM5, uh, C equal to aluminum ratio was 23, 45 or 71. Kappa 2 plus, uh, 2 plus exchange level was very strong. 30 to 200. In the case of copper morbidite, the silicon to aluminum ratio was 6.4 or 67, and copper to plus exchange level was very from 50 to 140 percent. The silicon to aluminum ratio of copper by zeolite was 3.6. Copper to plus exchange level was very from 20 to 70 percent. We express the catalyst like this. Where our X is percentage uh, represents the percentage degree of Cu2 plus ion exchange and Y represents the silicon to aluminum atomic ratio of zeolite. The reduction of nitric oxide with ammonia on 
various data plus exchange theory patterns was carried out using the conventional flow reaction system under atmospheric pressure. The standard reaction conditions were reaction temperature 573 K, the concentration of NO was 1.10%, that is 1,000 half per million. The concentration of ammonia was 0.10%, just the same as that of NO. And the concentration of O2 is 2.0%. Helium was used as a balanced gas. And w over F was buried in this region. The ebriated gas was analyzed by MOX analyzer with a chemical luminescent detector for NO and NO2. And by gas chromat graph, graph with a molecular seal fiber column for N2 and O2, and a plot Q column for N2O, and by calorimetry using Vesca's reagent for ammonia. GSM file is a useful theorite, not only because the aluminum concentration can be varied widely by the hydrothermal synthesis without any severe reanimation treatment, but also because the CU2 plus exchange level can be varied up to 200%. Therefore, we can't concentrate it on the results obtained for thermal GSM5. The reaction was carried out on kappa gsm 5 theorized, having various kappa 2 plus extended levels and various symptom to aluminum atomic ratios at temperature range of 373 to 873 K. At these temperatures, the activity and selectivity of these catalysts did not change at least for 48 hours of stream. Reaction products containing uh, nitrogen atom was nitrogen with trace amounts of NO2 and N2O. This figure shows the typical relationship between the reaction temperature and the catalytic activity. The conversion of NO, the conversion of ammonia, and the yield of N2, assuming this reaction stoichiometry, gave all of the same value at 573 or lower temperature. These observations indicate that this reaction takes place selectively at lower temperatures. This is the same reaction stoichiometry that has been reported for the circuit catalytic reaction of nitric oxide on vanadium titania, proton type mordide, and carbonite zeolite. As shown in this figure, NO conversion, ammonia conversion, and M2 yield were different from each other at higher temperatures. The ammonia conversion was the highest to reach uh, about almost 100 percent, about 700 K, while the NO conversion was the lowest. This difference could be explained by side reaction between ammonia and oxygen as shown here. These side reactions lead to difference in the conversion and yield, that is the high ammonia conversion and the low NO conversion compared with the nitrogen conversion. In order to confirm the contribution of these reactions, (laughs) 
the oxidation of ammonia with oxygen was carried out under similar reaction conditions. This figure shows the change of N2 yield in ammonia oxidation with the reaction temperature. In all cases, the main nitrogen containing product was nitrogen and the yield of both NO and N2O were less than 1%. The oxidation of ammonia with oxygen accelerated about 600 K. Thus, it is confirmed that the oxidation of ammonia proceeds through this uh, reaction and the difference among NO conversion, ammonia conversion and NTE is due to this side reaction. In the case of copper molybdenite catalyst, similar phenomena to those of copper TSM particulate catalyst were observed. However, as shown here, on copper white theorite catalyst, the catalytic, uh, catalytic reduction of nitric oxide proceeds selectiv selectively even at high temperature. Also, the catalytic activity of copper white zeolite is much lower than those of copper molybdenite or GSM, uh, copper GSM5 zeolite. Kinetic study were carried out. This figure shows the effect of NO concentration on the rate of N2 formation on this catalyst at 573K. At this temperature, the rate of nitrogen formation represents the rate of the selective catalytic reduction of nitric oxide. Higher NO concentration gives the higher reaction rate. This figure shows the effect of ammonia concentration of the rate of nitrogen formation. Around the standard reaction condition, that is uh, 0.1% of ammonia, the reaction rate is almost independent of ammonia concentration. This part may suggest the most of the, the active site on copper GSM5 is covered with ammonia under the standard reaction condition.
because the cation exchange sites are separated from, far from each other. When the surface CuOH plus concentration is high, this kind of cover diamond may be formed by dehydration at high temperature. We think this kind of copper diamond is highly active. Young men coworkers have reported the kind of, uh, this kind of uh, active site for decomposition of NO into N2 and oxygen. When the surface concentration of uh, CuOH plus is low, the copper diamond may not be formed. Therefore, the activity of such catalysts is low. In the case of low silica, uh, low silica zeolite and white zeolite, Cu2 plus introduced into the zeolite as a form of just C Cu2 plus cation. This kind of copper species have a very little activity compared with this copper type. In considering of the complex reaction stoichiometry, proposed copper diamond species as active sites and tiny results, we draw a possible uh, probable reaction mechanism like this. This is the copper diamond species with saturated ammonia ligand. This species react with molecular oxygen to form power oxo by nuclear copper to complex. This complex reacts with NO to form this. This reaction may be the way determining step in the selective catalytic reduction of nitric oxide with ammonia. This radical reacts with NO easily to form this. This decomposes to form N2 and water to form this. By the dehydration, active sites are regenerated. Thank you for your attention. I like your proposal on a copper diamond, mm -hmm. except I have some problems with seeing how it's formed. <laughs> I like your proposal on a copper diamond, but I have some difficulty seeing how it was formed. In the silicon to alumina ratio of 23 and ZSM5, that means you have one aluminum to the channel intersection. You count. Uh, we put one copper into each channel intersection. How do you form a diamond? The copper mobile? Yes, so also, you mean the distance of copper? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's possible because the copper mobile is different from the copper diamond. Yeah. 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 I think the, uh, <coughs> I think uh, this uh, the distance of the catalytic synthesis, if the distance of the catalytic synthesis size is uh, around five hundred strong, I think it's uh, possible. But it's more like ten. It's ten or more. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, more than ten is impossible. Yeah, yeah. I think so. But. Uh, 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 in the case of GSM5, uh, in the uh, intersection, the diameter of intersection is uh, 11, around 11 points. So. Uh, because I think the, one of these uh, names is uh, rather long. But I'm not sure because we don't have a spectral project. We are going to do that. Very interesting talk.